Once upon a time, there was a lovely lady who reigned in the kingdom of the United States. Well, not really reigned, but it opened a door from her past. Oh dear, there is so much to tell in this story. I know, let's all watch the movie together. Gerard, you are using the gold tapers, aren't you? Yes. And we do need the red wine glasses as well. Yes, ma'am. This isn't awkward. <clears throat> I know we were doing it today because of the dinner tonight. Can we just uninvite them? That is not an option. Channing, do you have the latest list? Do you want the pre-Carrington list or the post? Oh, we have a post. Or is that just wishful thinking? <laughs> <laughs> the name tag is backwards. No. Oh, thank you. Oh, great. Preston's here. Oh, I guess they really are coming. Assume you heard the announcement? Just think. All of this will be under my control in just a few short months. In your dreams. I want Mallory next to Kate, and we'll put Harold on the other side of the precedent. And I want a date with Denzel Washington. He's married. See how impossible life is. Mm -hmm. Besides, we already have them at the kitty table. <laughs> Oh, touch one card on that table, and I will break your wrist. Sahara Club next to offshore drilling. You want to start a food fight? What did I just tell you? Now back away from the table. Mrs. Morales, I would like you to meet Chantal de Monet. Bonjour. And the publisher of Royalty Magazine, Elise Dubois. Enchanté. And right on time. Shall we get started? Shannon, do you have the latest menu and wine pairing? I'm working on it. Um, and your dress is in the ante room, and hair and makeup are ready, so let's go. Perfect. George, salad fork missing. Thank you, Frankie. No matter how early I get up, you're already at it. El Presidente. Good morning, Raleigh. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Mr. President. Hey, how was dinner? The most peace we've had in four years. It was wonderful. Well. You're ready for another four. And this one's gonna be a bruiser. Looks like it. Oh, did you hear about Carrington? <laughs> that would actually be fun. Oh, yeah. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we heard. I'm still processing the info. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll talk after this. Hey, how did you dodge this bullet? <laughs> See you later. <clears throat> CNN wants a quote from you about Mallory Carrington. Oh, what do I know that they don't? She's married to Harold, who's just throwing his hat in the ring for president. You know what they want. <laughs> and they are gonna get it. I'm thrilled for the Carringtons. I wish them the best. Is <laughs> back in the room? Yeah, I mean, thank God you're not wearing that dress, otherwise you'd be swelling. They also want to know if they're still invited to the dinner tonight. Oh, seriously? Yes. Oh, the barbarians are at the gate. You just wing it. You'll be fine. I'm off my leash. You are. Fantastic. Oh. The ambassador's Sweet. wife is here. Oh, great. Yeah. Mallory Carrington is on the phone. What should I tell her? Mm. Oh, that's a loaded question. Find out what she wants to hear and tell her that. She wants to hear it from you. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. Mallory. I was delighted to hear Harold throwing his hat in the ring for president. Oh, come on, Kate. You can do better than that. I'm sincerely thrilled that Harold will be representing your party's nomination for president. I can't think of a more fascinating candidate. Well, you can't possibly be happy about the influence that I have over the millennials. Face it, Kate. It's a new day in America. Yes, Mallory, it's always a new day in America. Every 24 hours. Okay, can you lift your face more towards the light? 
here from teaching for this? Mm -hmm. Professor Catherine Morales on the cover of Royalty. I look silly. Yes. Okay, just one or two more. Okay. And yeah, that's a wrap. Great. Thank you. Let's Thank go. you. Okay, that aid into the Amanda Terrain <sighs> Award, which is now butting up against literacy speech. Okay. So we have to get going. Wait. Mics are in the office, the car is waiting outside. Bailey, do you have a purse? I've got All right. it. Great, let's go. Wait, we have to get the dress off. All right. Oh, here are the notes for the interview. Uh, now leave the talking points for Mallory in case she's the next first lady. Mm -hmm. If I don't know who I am by now, it's too late to figure it out. Hello, I'm Catherine Morales. My friends call me Kate. Have you seen Kate? I need to find her. We have at least three more meetings. Okay. Morales. Yes. Morales. Yes. The president is asking for you. Uh, he's not feeling well. Well, why didn't someone call me? Well, we tried to call yourself, but it, it was cut off. I'm surrounded by people with cells that are on. OK, I understand. I, I can take you to him right now. OK. OK. okay. Oh, my gosh. Alex, someone get the doctor now. Go get the doctor. Go get the doctor. Oh, my gosh. We're going to be fine. Doctor's on his way. Where's the doctor? Hey, Kate, I'm here. Here, Kate. I'm here. You'll be okay, Mr. President. What are you feeling? Breathe. Okay, just stay calm. Stay calm. You'll be okay. They said they'll need to rob Peter to pay Paul. You're in good shape. They'll find good arteries, I'm sure. I'm sorry, sweetie. This is the last thing you need on your plate. You will do anything to get out of dinner with the characters. Humor. Mm -hmm. I like that. Kate, please promise me you'll support Taylor. He'll need all the help he can get. Hey, don't worry about that. He'll be up in no time. Please, promise me, Taylor's like a son. Yes. Yes, of course, I promise. You know I've got your back. But sweetheart, don't talk like that. You're gonna be just fine. after me. I, Taylor Brooks, do solemnly swear. I, Taylor Brooks, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, preserve the text and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Grandfather? Are you all right? Yes, yes. I was uh, remembering a time long ago. Magnificent recollections of my youth. Now the dusty memories of an old man. They've sent for you. Ready? Yes. Yes, my darling, of course. What is this? <laughs> magnificent! Magnificent! Ah. 
Last night, Harold Carrington won his party's primary for president. I cannot believe that woman could ever take Kate's place. She probably paint the White House hot pink. Smiley face. Ugh. Ugh. Hashtag selfie central. Can you turn that up, please? His wife, Mallory, was with him on the campaign trail when his victory was announced. Uh. Okay. <sighs> I think it is safe to say that none of us saw that coming. But let's try and make the most of it. So does anybody have any ideas? Well, uh, we could do a press release, thank our voters. Maybe we can thank them in a video. Or in a tweet. Or, wait, what was that other thing you said? Whatever it was, it worked. You have millions of followers on every single social media account. You just need to harvest them. It was Snapshot. That was off the chain. Off the chain. Well, I'll tell you who's off the chain. Pookie's off the chain. Come, come. I have to get ready. I can't believe they caught me in that interview dressed like this. Look at my hair. Mallory, honey, you are going to be the hottest first lady this country has ever seen. Whoa, 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 honey. I still have to figure all this stuff out. I wasn't even planning on winning the... Primary? Primary. I was just looking to get some name ID. Okay. Okay, people, it's time to get serious. First things first, who's getting coffee? You know what? It's really good that we're doing this. Yeah, she really needs some cheering up. And a good bran muffin. <sighs> Just because someone is over 60 does not mean that they need a bran muffin. Uh, yes, oh, it does. yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Thanks. Whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm better. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Here's to 40 years of us. And to many more. I, I just, I don't know if I'm really ready to, you know, start teaching again. So soon. Well, hey, girls. You forgot. No, no, I didn't forget. Come in, come in. She forgot. No. <laughs> I think you forgot. I did not. So good to see you guys. <sighs> oh, thank you. You guys trying to tell me something? <laughs> it was them. How is Taylor going to pull this off? I can't believe they won the primaries. I mean, who was voting? Third graders? It's all those years on MVTV. I mean, it gave her an instant fan base. Mm. It's all about celebrity now. Could we just rent him a first lady? I can call Central Casting. Well, why can't someone run against Mallory for first lady? I mean, you keep talking about the dignity of the office, the importance of the position, protecting the national heritage. <laughs> I don't sound like that, do I? You can't just run for first lady. Why not? I mean, it's a hard job. I mean, we all know it firsthand. There have been a lot of first ladies who hated the position. Or their husbands. I love both. But really, why should you have to lose your job just because your husband died? It's OK, Bailey. We all know Alex is dead. I am so sorry. I didn't. It just came out. No. No, you're right. I mean, the minute Alex died, I not only lost my husband and my best friend, I lost my job. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been fun. They weren't even on the radar. Alex warned me this could happen. This is generation. And they're screwing up a good system. If their frappuccino's not hot enough, they throw a tangent with the ballot box. Are, aren't they supposed to be cold? Say goodbye to the days of call the election months in advance. Yeah, I mean, we thought this guy was a joke. So the kids started thinking he was a rock star. What is she wearing? She looks like my daughter's Malibu Barbie. Did she just hand her coffee to a Marine? Excuse me, the... Mr. President. Uh, they're still waiting for you. Let's see what the fallout is before we respond. If the country is as shocked as we are, go hard. If there's youthful enthusiasm, we need to tread lightly. Come up with some options. 
We'll discuss when I get back. This is so simple. Just hear me out. Taylor is a widower. You have already done the job. Alex loved Taylor like a son. So here's the deal. You run for office with Taylor as if it were a completely different job. Which it is. Yes. Yes, oh my, yes. This hasn't been done before, but why not? Everything's changing. Why not this? The one thing is, would Taylor go for it? Are you kidding me? That's the only way he's gonna win. I know how we can win. I know how we can win this. You see that little cutie over there? <laughs> We're gonna put her on the campaign trail. There's no way Taylor Brooks can keep up with that. Besides, what kind of president doesn't have a first lady? Just plain on American. Look, as much as I loved the job, it, it, it wouldn't be the same. It'd be too painful. There are just too many memories in those halls. OK, look, what would George Washington do, hmm? Would he sit there complaining that the Delaware River is ooh, too cold or the British are oh, too mean? No. He knew what needed to be done, and he did it. Right, and our country needs you right now. You can't let these clowns win this election. And Taylor needs you to get reelected. This is Channing? Yes. That sounds like a splendid idea. Yes, Mr. President, she's right here. Hello, Taylor. Yes, yes, I heard. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, that's a unique idea. I have to give it some thought. Um, yes, I, I promise I will. <laughs> yeah, I'll get back to you. Thank you. Did you put him up to this? What? What? I, I don't know what, what? you're talking. He suggested the same thing. <gasps> no. What? Where did he get that idea? Wow. I just wonder. I don't know. Look, look. This would be an abomination of historical proportions. You cannot let this happen. Taylor's on board. What's the problem? It's, it's just never been done before. Oh, none of this social media has been done before. And look what it got us. This is your chance to make things right. Come on. For everyone. Including Alex. You did promise to take care of Taylor. And preserve the dignity of the White House. <laughs> Alex Morales was an inspiration to all who knew him. And as hard as it has been to fill his shoes, it would be impossible to replace the First Lady. She and I have discussed this at length, and she has graciously agreed to accompany me on the campaign trail, running for the office of First Lady. Wow. <laughs> well, it's not really an office. It's more of a position. However, I think it's a marvelous idea. <laughs> it's logical. She's been in the position for four, almost four years. I think this is wonderful. I cannot imagine Mallory Carrington as first lady. Uh -huh. She probably turned the White House into a day spa. <laughs> this is brilliant. They'll win the sympathy vote and the boomer vote. Check this out. There have been nine first lady stand-ins. I just knew about Buchanan's niece. What was her name? Harriet Lane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, no one's actually run for first lady. Oh, well, of course they have. The wife runs with the candidate, and then she becomes the first lady. Yeah, but that's a given because she's the wife, but a non-wife. Oh, that's called a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm asking, what power does a non-wife have? Well, you'd have to talk to Taylor. Um, since she wouldn't be the wife, could she still run his life? Well, well, I can tell you, 
Any woman with power is going to run someone's life. Trust me. <laughs> well, to wonderful friends, yes. your here. great support, and to Alex. Here, 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 here. here, here. here, here. <laughs> What's funny? Woman, I once knew she's quite the character. What hasn't been done, she will do. What has been done, she will do better. How do you know her? Read this first, and I shall tell you. Where is Harold? He's late again, isn't he? I swear I should be the one running for president. Ugh. Take down all these tacky posters. I am so sick of all this red, white, and blue. I want bright pastels. Isn't that a contradiction? The brighter, the better. As a former professor of history, before entering the world of politics, mm -hmm. don't you think it's a bit unconventional <laughs> running for the office of First Lady? Well, actually, Tori, there have been many women in our nation's history not married to the president hmm. serving as first lady. But the big difference here is that the voters will know going in who that person will be. Mallory, Mrs. Mallory, 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 just one question, Mrs. please. Mrs. Carrington, what do you think about Catherine Morales running for first lady with Taylor Brooks? <laughs> that puts you in a head-to-head -head battle, doesn't it? Well, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. You can't run for first lady you have to be married into the position, like me, a real First Lady contestant. So you are saying it is a contest, that it is legitimate for her to run as your competitor, that it is a real viable position? Look, all I'm saying is I'm legitimate and she's not. She's an ex-First Lady, that's all. She doesn't get a do-over just because her husband died. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you, Mallory Carrington. You just saved our jobs. Our motto is, breathe in the breath of a new tomorrow. With my husband in the White House, there is nothing that we can't do together as a whole, uniful nation. <laughs> I feel confident we can pull us out, but I hope it's by a comfortable margin. Otherwise, all I'll hear is how Catherine pulled me over the line. Are you saying a more mature voter is <gasps> Oh, and turn up four. Morales is over the hill? And she's an elegant lady that the nation admires, but times are changing. Values are shifting. Her style is just a bit dated. But we are going to oh, win. Great. They just ticked off a third of the voting block. <laughs> oh, we are so close. Okay. We're so close. Is Kate ready? Hey, uh, yeah. Can you get that rock necklace Alex gave me? It's in the box on the mantle. There's three boxes. <laughs> no, 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 not that one. It's the gold one. Here, let me help you. So, are those exit polls looking? We didn't anticipate this would be a generational matchup. Kate skewed the numbers royally. And when pitted against wasn't even a real contest. But, like you said, you only did this for the name ID. You'll be ready next time. Yeah, but I was ready this time. <sighs> Thanks, girl. Go get him, go get him, you look fabulous. Yeah, we're back in the White House. It's gonna... <gasps> look, oh, you're so gonna... close to calling it. Yeah. Isn't there something we can do to stop the hemorrhaging? I mean, we still have California, right? Anything I can do to help? Come on, one more. One more. Looks as though Taylor Brooks has won re-election. like you have a second chance, you should take it. Oh, I don't know, Giselle. You reach a certain age and second chances are harder to come by. But you're holding one. And all you have to do is 
make it happen. Yes, but I've told you, though. It's more complicated than that. She doesn't know the whole truth. She thinks that I am something I am not. Well, then you go and tell her. And you're going to need this. Oh, my darling, we're so simple. You see, we have a deal pending with the United States, and if I go uninvited, they may feel pressured and choose not to proceed. Grandma, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you aren't getting any younger. Thank you. You pretended before. You can do it again. As we go. First meeting of the day. Great. Hey, what's the protest about? We never had that one out. Oh, uh, yeah, the guard says they're here every night. <laughs> they seem peaceful now, but it really looks like they're having a good time. <laughs> Get a job. Hey, lady, you dropped something. Ah, oh, well, thank you very much. Uh, what's your name? Hank. <laughs> Do you work around here? Mostly, but I move around. Oh, well, how unique. Well, thanks again, Hank. Really appreciate all your help. And if you can ever be of assistance, um, let me know. Do you work near here? Um, I wouldn't call it work as much as just helping out. Yeah, that's what I do. I just help out. Get you later, Mr. Morales. Okay, Hank, bye. Gentlemen. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. I wanted to come brief you in person about a call I just received from the new president. This has to do with the arrangement that we had with President Morales. It looks as though it died with him. This can't be. We had his word, which I assume was binding on all who followed him. Unfortunately, that's not how democracies work, sir. Each president sends his own agenda, his own administration. He's not bound by his predecessor at all. I understand. But we have so many obligations relying on the completion of this project. Without his support, sir, it won't be. Does the new First Lady have any influence? Not like the Queen had with you, if that's what you mean, sir. Many say he was only elected because of her popularity. So you are saying that she has no power now? Not like before. Get the US Embassy on the phone. Mm -hmm. Ambassador Richardson specifically. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Buttons. <laughs> you know that's not how it works, Jack. Because I've told you 50 times. I don't know how many ways I can tell you no, so I'm just gonna hang up on you now. All right. Hello? Yes. It's time for you to pick your foreign intern. State sent these over. No, we will absolutely be there, and I really appreciate your help. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bailey. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So, um, idea. What if we said no to state? We all know these interns are a royal people. Well, speaking of royal pain, she chose a princess. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're all princesses <laughs> these days. True, no, but... No, she really chose a princess. Well, it's entitlement generation. No, no, no. She is a princess. Oh. It says her specialties are computer programming, mm -hmm and martial arts. So yippee. <laughs> We're gonna have a ninja princess. Oh, Channing, before you go, oh, check out the seating chart for the next dinner. I don't want her next to him, but maybe two seats down so he can keep an eye on her. She'd be perfect for him. <laughs> You've only been back for two weeks. You're already replacing yourself? We both know this isn't permanent. I just needed to keep my promise to Alex and keep Mallory from destroying the dignity of the position. Duty called. I don't think I'm the right answer. You look up First Lady in the dictionary, there's a photo of you next to it. This should be a lifetime appointment. Uh, it just feels different this time without Alex. 
Ah, it feels like I'm just pretending this time, just playing a role. Uh, Your Majesty, I'm not sure this is gonna work in another country. Nonsense! Even my own people don't recognize me when I'm out amongst them. I've gotten very good at my disguises over the years. I hate to be the one to tell you this, sir, but your people love when you walk amongst them in disguises. That is not possible. Is someone telling them? I believe it is your entourage and your shoes. They're always spotless. Perfect. This, here we go. That's perfect. What do they say in America? Street trip. I believe that is road trip, Majesty. Road trip? Gentlemen, Your Highness, I have arranged for a car to pick you up at the airport in DC. It will take you to the House of State Department has prepared to protect your identity. Very well. Uh, your Majesty, are you sure this is the way you would like to proceed? What if you are discovered? Would not undermine your agreement? That agreement died with President Morales. If I had to go as myself, as king, it would be a breach of protocol. Perceived as coercion. No, I shall go as the lowly guard that we have selected. Sorry. Why all the secrecy? Why can't he go just see her as himself? There's too much at stake. See, if he allows himself to be exposed, then she could reject him, and it could look like he's trying to get her to help resurrect the agreement. Does she not recognize him? It's fear, too. What if she's changed? What if the spark is gone? He would put himself out there and look foolish. I think it's brilliant. And I get to play. Majesty, I must say it is a pleasure to meet you in person finally. Your story is legend at the embassy. Oh, it's good to meet you as well, Ambassador Richardson. Uh, which story? There are so many. <laughs> hey. Apparently our fathers were friends. They did a lot of things off the record. Tom Edwards, yes, yes, that was. Chapter one. I do hope with this trip we can finish the story. But we're all pulling for you, sir. And here are your documents. Visas, ID, contact information. We'll, uh, he's taking care of the rest. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your Majesty, while you are on the plane, Dimitri will help you with your costume, and he will coach you on your role. Yeah. But of course, it'd be a good start if you stop bowing. Stop bowing. And what is this? Very good. You may now bow. <laughs> Everyone freeze. Grandfather, this is lesson one. Sorry. Ah, ah, ah. You must now hold it open for me and anyone else following you. Stop bowing. Stop it! Don't. Uh, Your Majesty. Yes. Just pretend like you're on the streets of Mandorbenik in disguise. But lose the shoes. Uh, did you pack my brandy and my coffee? If I am to dress less than royal, at least I can drink like a king. Of course. <laughs> Good luck, Your Highness. There's a bet back at the embassy. Big money is on you. Ah. My money is on love. her. I can't believe we didn't even recognize her. I was looking at my phone and didn't even see her. What? What just happened? George Washington laid the cornerstone for the White House, but it was actually Abigail and John Adams who were the first residents. Oh, I am so sorry. You look lost. May I help you? This. And what are you expecting to find in that office? The princess. 
I was told the princess is in this office. <laughs> oh, I've been called many things, but princess tops the list. But yet, that is my office. So you have met the princess? Ah, uh, yeah, there you are. You are not to be wandering these halls alone. It is far too dangerous. And what is it about the security of the White House that makes her adventure down the hall so dangerous? I have been assigned to protect Princess Giselle. She is to be with an armed bodyguard at all times. Yeah, uh, follow me. And she knows it. I can assure you she is in one of the safest places in the world, with or without a bodyguard. And I must have missed the fine print from State Department. I don't recall seeing anything about the princess needing a bodyguard, which, as I said, she does not. It was an explicit condition of her service. Someone must have mentioned it. I did not see one armed guard in that hallway. It is what you don't see that protects her. This is not a police state with armed guards around every corner like many countries in the world. And if the Secret Service feels our president is safe to walk these dangerous hallways, then certainly so is our princess. Oh, besides, I, I've heard she's a martial artist. <laughs> Can't she protect herself? Uh, uh, yes, but to use it in another country could create liability issues and a potential international incident. Huh. Yes. Could you just sit in the hallway, just by the door? There are so many windows. I cannot protect her from the outside when she is here, inside. And those hoodlums outside. The protesters. They seem very dangerous. Trust me, they are no more dangerous than a paper cut. Okay, things are clearly very cramped here already. The only thing we can offer you is by the coffee machine. <sighs> That's fine. Uh, no. In fact, that will be perfect. I shall prepare you a splendid cup of coffee from my country. I oh. just require a water source. Sir? Sir, wait. Uh, that would be you. Oh, I can help you. No, 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 no. I can handle this task. No job is too small or too big. Thank you. Next. They're gonna bring their nannies and cooks. It doesn't look like he could guard his way out of a fallen souffle. I mean, what danger does he think she could possibly be in? <laughs> this is absurd. Oh, I fell. Magnificent! Oh, that's very clever. I can use my foot and my hand. You must remember this. You sure she's the right one? She didn't recognize your grandfather. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. It's that same fire, that same spirit I saw at the moment I walked in. Hmm. Obviously, she didn't see it in you. Mm -hmm. Well, would you recognize me? You never <laughs> showed me this. My goodness. That's her? That's you. She mustn't know until I'm ready. I need to know for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for your support. We're counting on your votes. I'm looking forward to serving as your president and first lady. The promise is kept. Who is it? It's me, Taylor. Come in. Hi. Hi. I just needed a soft landing after a hard day. Oh. But you know, it's late, so we can talk tomorrow. No, no, no. I was just going through some old videos and things. You know, they keep harping on the bill that I voted on years ago. But it's since been repealed. What part of irrelevant don't they get? I know that's frustrating, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like this plastic. You know, you, you can try to pressure people to see things your way. But the harder you press and pull, the more tension you create. But. If you cut the tension, try humor. 
with humility. It'll disarm your opponent, and then they'll see your point. I love the tie, though. <laughs> you and Alex were an incredible team. Like, two legs, the same pair of pants. <laughs> I had that once. But without any... I just seem untethered sometimes. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Of course you do. No, Listen no. to me go on. No, 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 no. It's natural. It's natural to want someone to share these special moments with. <sighs> and I actually have someone very special that I want you to meet. She's coming to the Wounded Veterans Dinner in two weeks, and Kate. she's amazing. Wait Kate. till you meet her. She'd be perfect. For Kate. You. What? I don't need another first lady. I have you. Hmm. Besides, dating would be too distracting right now, so... Keep an open mind. <laughs> okay, let's get this done. I mean, what's this all about? Seriously, not holding a door open? What's that about? Oh, Charlie, why don't you come with us? You'll enjoy this, won't you? <laughs> Kate, mm -hmm. the kids are here. Would you like me to let them in? Oh, yeah. Welcome. Come in, gentlemen. And lady. I'm glad you brought a friend. Have a seat. I'm sure you're all wondering why you're here. Wow, that was really cool. I didn't know anything about the origins of chivalry. <laughs> yeah, I've already downloaded the book. Thanks for letting me come with you. Yeah, that was fun. When's the next one, right? I was worried when you started groaning. That was magnificent. You seem to know your history. <laughs> you should be a teacher. Oh, well, I was a history professor before my husband decided to run for office. Oh, and I do miss it. Well, you're very good at it. Perhaps when you're finished here, you can get back to it. Yeah, I don't know. You get to a certain age, it's hard to get a do-over. But aren't you getting one now? <sighs> you can't go back and recapture lost dreams. <laughs> now, for me, this was a promise I made. I don't know, now that Taylor's in office, I wish I knew what these kids want. They just sit there all day. Yeah, I like it's their mom's basement. Mm -hmm. They break for lunch around 12, and they're back by 3. Mm -hmm. What kind of work day is that? They need to throw themselves into their cause, whatever it is. Yeah, it's debit cards. Hmm. Who would pay kids to protest? Yeah, you'd be surprised. Sergeant McLean. We've spoken several times. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have a good turnout. Yeah, it's going to be a wonderful evening. And I've spoken to your protocol officer, and we just want to make sure everything's up to your standard. Well, from what I hear, Captain Morales is the standard for protocol. Mm, you've heard correctly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Hank from the other day. <laughs> OK, I get it. Yeah, he's a freelancer. Oh, very cute. Channing just texted. She's on her way up with Sergeant McLean. Better. Thank you, Max. Great, I'll go get him. Show her now. He just heard her, she's ready for a change. My darling, when the time is right, I will know it. Hey, Max, can you take this to Kate, please? She's headed to the East Wing with Sergeant McLean. You can meet her in the lobby. I'd be happy to help. Great. I assume the princess will be safe. Seriously? <laughs> Do you know how valuable that plate was? How many guests through the generations have eaten off of it? It is irreplaceable, unlike you. I'm so sorry. But some things can be replaced. Let's not put more value on things than we do people.
It's an honor doing business with you, ma'am. Ah, Ms. Morales. Uh, Miss Channing asked me to deliver this folder. I hope I'm not interrupting. Oh, Max, how thoughtful. Thank you. Max, meet Sergeant McLean. Sir. Two handsome men in uniform. I'm sure you have a lot in common. My honor. Uh, may I? Yeah. Grandfather, hmm. Channing has asked us to help her with the dinner party prep. Well, she asked me, which means you. This is why I'm here, to observe. I still can't believe there's nothing about you she recognizes. I don't even recognize myself in these horrible clothes. <laughs> and my wonderful, full head of hair, woo, gone. <laughs> Put your hat back on. <laughs> Mrs. Morales. Yeah? This is Madison. She is another intern. Oh, Madison. Oh, how brilliant that your parents would name you for one of the most important presidents in American history. And his wife, Dolly, amazing woman. You know, she helped save the White House from total destruction by the British. She rescued several historic paintings, including that Stuart portrait of Washington. Mm. What a wonderful namesake for you to have. Actually, they named me after a mermaid. Uh, a mermaid? I don't suppose she's seen many movies. Huh. So you will have an updated list soon. Okay. The ambassador left a hole, and Williams is the wild card. Oh. Yeah, it would be nice at some point in my life to have a dinner party for people I actually like. Why do you do it if you don't enjoy it? You have plenty of staff. Mm -hmm. I didn't say I didn't enjoy it. No, it's the battlefield for me. The ultimate war game. You think about all the normal conversations that happen around the dinner table and then eject that from your mind and picture the table at the DMZ. But instead of a line of microphones down the middle, I have a beautiful centerpiece. Well, get your battle gear on. Mm. The Carringtons are coming. Oh. Mm. They're like a virus. <sighs> More like a rash. Yep. <sighs> Watcher. She's like an NFL quarterback making a perfect pass to the next receiver. Every time. Yes, she is regal. Ah, oh, Senator Carrington. Kate. And Mallory. Hello, Kate. What a pleasure to see you both. Oh, what a lovely setting. So much youthful energy. <laughs> Do take care of yourself. You're looking a little tired. <laughs> Do you know, Congressman and Mrs. McMillan, you will love getting to know one another. Senator, always a pleasure. We so appreciate it. Well, Your we support appreciate it. always means so much. <laughs> Do you look really nice tonight? Well, you clean up pretty nice yourself. We appreciate it so much. Thank you, <laughs> Sergeant McLean. It is an honor to finally meet you. The honor is all mine, sir. I can't thank you enough for putting this dinner on for all of us. We are happy to do it. Sergeant McLean, we appreciate you so much. Oh, oh. There she is. The brunette in the blue dress by the door. Her name's Carrie. Be nice. I'm always nice. Mm-hmm. The young governor of Virginia, Mr. Park May. It's a pleasure, sir. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. Keep that seat warm. I might be in it one day. There Thank you go. You. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you very much. <laughs> so good to see you. Nice to meet you. Hello, Carrie. It's a pleasure to meet you. No, it's Cameron. Oh, I'm sorry. I was under the impression, well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Cameron. Likewise. <clears throat> Hello. Hola, senor presidente.
Good evening, everyone. President Brooks and I welcome you to the White House. We are so delighted you're here. We hope you have a wonderful evening. Well, we all know the importance of staying in shape, eating right, taking our, our vitamins. You just never know when your time's up. Your time will be up if you don't lower your voice. Well, what's so wrong about talking about staying healthy and alive? She would have been a disaster. I'm sitting right here. Hi. Who's Cameron? I am fascinated by your position on the Fortress Bill. Although, with all due respect, you're totally wrong in your arguments for it. Well, we all know what that means. What's that? With all due respect. It's a polite way of saying someone's full of it. With all due respect. <laughs> that is Cameron Cooper. DHS secretary sent us for good slate, mm -hmm. so she's the undersecretary. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe that Kate put us at the other end of the table when Preston clearly said we would be seated next to Taylor. You better watch her back with that one. Don't be so hard on her. I mean, put yourself in her shoes. Yeah, well, those were my Antonio Bellini she was wearing. I actually thought she was pretty cool about you being there. I can't believe you still use Preston. Cameron, she cares more about protocol than she does people. It is so stupid to think that you can run for first lady. She thinks she's a queen. That is not a job I would wish on anyone. What a wonderful evening, though. Uh, hey, when do you start your new job? Are you so excited to get back on TV? I'm excited to be anywhere. I can destroy Catherine Morales. Where's Harold? Harold! Hello. I don't know if you remember me or not. Um, the dinner the other night. How could I forget? The man that's belaboring an amendment to a bill that is unnecessary and basically gutting it. Yes, I remember you. Well, maybe we need to discuss the issue further since it's obviously important to you. Can I call you? I'm sure you can. The question really is, may you call me? I already got her on speed dial. <clears throat> Preston Walker's back. What part of no does he not understand? And you're gonna love this. You've got to be kidding. What does Mallory Carrington know about being a TV news reporter? What? <laughs> she can't even string two coherent sentences together. They must think she can read. Someone else writes it anyway. <laughs> Hey, seriously, what does movies and music possibly have to do with news? What about Preston? Should I let the little weasel in? Yeah. Be sure the litter box is out. We have new carpet. Can we use that paper? Please. Kate, what is the decision on the education bill? Is he going to veto it or not? They don't waste much time with pleasantries, commonly known as manners. Where you come from, do they? And I don't see anyone in this room that you're familiar enough with to call Kate. You don't need to pull that first lady shtick with me. Has he seen the protesters outside? Oh, that's what they're protesting. We skipped a few days of charm school, did we? <laughs> <laughs> She's getting under his skin. He's a little brown noser for his OCD senator. You're talking about Mr. Carrington. Mm -hmm. Isn't he too slow to be OCD? No, no, it's Senator Stone. Preston is what we politely call a consultant. He has his hand out to whoever will put cash in it. They must be very careful. One day it could get bitten off. Watch a master at work. Mm. We need to know before the bill vote, is he in or out? Preston, this is your lucky day, as I'm feeling particularly patronizing. Go tell Stone to do his job. Let President Brooks do his. Take the vote. Don't worry about a veto. If it's too close to get an override, don't do it. But don't assume the president's gonna do your job for you. 
Nothing about what you just said makes me feel the least bit lucky. Oh, you are lucky. Because I didn't throw you out of my office before imparting my words of wisdom. But now that I have. <sighs> I cannot believe someone that ill-mannered could ever represent a U.S. senator. That was not even the slightest pretense of respect. I mean, aren't good people really that hard to find? Kate? Seriously? Kate? How'd it go? I really, really hate her. Great. Have a nice day. I'm getting very close, my darling. Hey, yo, we've got action in the South 40. Mm, finally, they've moved off the dime. Oh, we deserve to learn. Yeah, that's why we have public schools. Look at that one. <laughs> Education should be free. I guess they didn't get the public school memo. This must be the bill Preston was talking about. Oh, I found a cute one. Don't take my brain away before it's filled with knowledge? Knowledge. Some of these kids need some higher education because it cannot get much lower than this. <laughs> Give me the Secret Service and call extension 342. Tell Frank I am on my way down. Giselle, I really could use your help on this. And you too, of course, Max, if you don't mind. There's something going on at the White House? Mallory, we have to go live to the White House right now. Are you new? Yeah, because guess what? I haven't had my latte, so no. Action in three, two, one. <clears throat> We're going live to the White House, where there seems to be a storming of the gates by protesters who have been there for weeks. Yes, but it is friendly. It looks as though Kate Morales, who was elected First Lady last November, is hosting what looks to be a chocolate milk summit. Well, hi, Mrs. Morales. Hey, Hank. You know, I finally figured out who you are. Yeah? The color helps. Yeah, it generally does. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hello, everybody. May I join you? Of course. Of course. I took the liberty of asking the kitchen to whip up some chocolate milk and chocolate chip cookies. I hope that's okay with you. What in the world is going on? Stop inside the gate. I want you to consider the White House your house. So we welcome you to the grounds and we're eager to hear your concerns. We here in the White House want to serve you as best we can and we want to know what your thoughts are and your dreams and visions for your future. Kate. Uh, what is this? Remember the plastic? Plastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cut the tension and use humor. Humor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess we know who's really running the White House. What do you think about all of this? She should be president. She gets it. You should be president. You get it. No, no. You could not ask for a better president than Taylor Brooks. <laughs> this really is one of the most unusual events we have ever witnessed at the White House. Cookie? But doesn't their view on the education bill directly conflict with President Brooks? And doesn't that pit him and Catherine in a head-to-head -head battle? Did you know about this? No, sir. I am just as surprised as anyone, including the Secret Service. Get them on the phone. I want to know how I was blindsided in the White House driveway without the benefit of a briefing on an issue I clearly oppose. I'm on it, Mr. President. Hello? Better. Yes. You were wonderful last night. I'm sure the president appreciates your gesture of peace. Uh, I have brought you a very special cup of my coffee to celebrate. Well, how thoughtful. Thanks, Max. Hey, uh, <clears throat> yes, I also wanted to share with you uh, uh, this photo that... Yes, who is that? Yes, yes. no, I, I will be there in five minutes. I'm on my way. Yes. Yeah, I am on my way. I will be there in five minutes. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's a photo of my dad. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get that? Well, yeah, this is when he was head of the CIA. Yes. Almost 50 years ago. Oh, uh, great memories. What that was? Out in the state called, and the embassy is furious. How can we let this happen? 
You know what? You're just gonna have to take care of it. I have a meeting with congressional wives. Okay, fine. Max, thank you so much for the coffee. Yes, pleasure. You were in charge of that crowd. That's what you get paid for. What happened out there, Preston? How could you play right into her hands like that? You can't blame me. That woman is out of control. She does what she wants. You'd think she'd almost want Taylor to fail. Excuse me. I asked for a latte. Does this look like a latte to you? Yes. Like I tell you every time. You know what that is? That's a one-star review right there. President Brooks is very good at tennis. His serve is excellent. I can't believe this. It's that Cameron person. And she's friends with Mallory Carrington. Was she not at dinner the other night? I thought you were friends. Oh. Hey, Channing, I want a record of every time Cameron's been in the White House. And do you have that other info I needed? Mm. Yes. Not even a parking ticket. Yeah, well, there must be something. Past boyfriends? She dated a senator. Yeah, which one? Your favorite. She dated Stone. Yeah, that means she knows Preston. Which means I think Taylor's being set up. Well, don't forget the Mallory connection. Yeah. yeah. Well, someone has to connect the dots for him. She is not first lady material. I just, I can't figure out her angle. I mean, unless she and Mallory are in it together, but oh, what do they have to gain? Everyone knows Mallory wants you out of the picture. <sighs> Oh, all the trouble we went to to defeat Mallory, only to get a Mallory light in this position. And would someone please tell those kids to either get their protest on or clear the sidewalks? Those poor kids. I hope she's not too tough on them. Okay, you guys, I've given this a lot of thought. And if you're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. Okay, so tomorrow I need you to bring some tools with you. You need to bring pens, papers, dictionaries, ref reference. Oh, yeah, okay, uh, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to clearly articulate what your demands are. Okay? Do you have a proposal? Talking points? A list of grievances to be addressed? Okay. So, tonight I want you all to go home and each of you write down five reasons you're protesting and email them to me, my name, at whitehouse.gov. Okay? Should we put down that we're getting paid? All right, so I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and no more three-hour lunch breaks, okay? If you're gonna be serious about this, then commit to it. Oh, here he is, here he is. Madam, hmm. I don't mean to be forward, but, but may I? Thank you. In tight quarters such as these, it's very hard to not hear certain discussions. Yeah, well, try harder. I know that you would like the right young woman to be the president's wife one day. But we cannot always choose who we fall in love with. Now, perhaps this young woman that he likes is, is not... Uh, it's not... Well... Well... You. Me. Yes, you! Which is a good thing. Bad for her, but good. 
For him, he can make his own decision. After all, this is this is not a medieval country where wives are chosen to keep monarchies alive. This is America. You don't have to lecture me on what country we're in. This position is bigger than the person, and if they don't understand that, then I just, oh, what am I doing? How can you possibly understand the intricacies of running a country? <sighs> Madam, he will not be president forever. He will leave, but the position of first lady remains here. You do want him happy, hmm? It's not about being happy. It's about doing a job and doing it right. And sometimes that means you sacrifice a lot. And I will not have this position sullied. If you continue to interfere with his love life, it will be uh, sullied. Oh. Whatever that is. It's a new word. Sullied. Must look that one up. Very interesting. But, uh, what have I done? Are you all right? Did you tell her? I she looked angry. What did you I say? Don't, I don't know. Things, they, they change over time. People change. Oh. Perhaps this was just a big mistake. You can't give up. You haven't even told her. Yeah. Mr. President, here's the seating chart for Friday's dinner. And she's waiting outside. Should I, should I send her in? I invited Mallory. Can you add her? Uh, you do know she works for the media now. Oh, and she hates you. And that's even after... After what? After she's on the tennis court with Cameron. Can you really trust someone who has a friend like Mallory? I didn't know that they were friends. It just means that Cameron has eclectic taste. Yeah, it means she has no taste. And then to date a man like Stone. I think you're playing with fire. Well, I'd like to invite that fire to the dinner as well. And I know about Stone. She was his escort. Nothing more. <laughs> That's a polite name for an old profession. She and I have discussed all of this. Why the third degree? Logistically, it's just not possible. The room's totally full as it is. I can't possibly find space for two more people. I'm sure you can find space. Bring in a card table or something. Taylor, it's not that easy to rearrange a table. There are complexities that I, I can't explain. Kate, if that room was large enough for Alice Roosevelt to roller skate in, then I'm sure you can find room for two more dinner guests. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a brief to prepare. Oh, and if, just in case, Mallory does intend me harm, then put her on the opposite end of the table and camera to my left. I'll take that call. How'd it go? Uh-oh. Why is he belaboring a seating chart? Unless it's a signal he doesn't trust me or need my help. He knows there are reasons to seat people together. He has to consider the history books. You think this dinner's gonna be in the history books? <laughs> Everything that happens in the White House is in the history books. Historians pour over tapes, letters, memos, emails, even seating charts for state dinners. But this isn't a state dinner. I don't want to one day read in a history book that I lost control over the standards of protocol, that I somehow encouraged the president's prepubescent dalliance with a woman who very well could be plotting to undermine him politically. That would actually be much more interesting to read. <gasps> You will record that I did what was best for the nation and for President Brooks. Well, they will record something. Oh. Oh, Kate, I'm so sorry I didn't see you wandering the halls. It means wandering the halls. It's you. What are you doing in the White House without an escort? Where's your visitor's badge? And it's Cap. Oh, you are not. Where'd you get that? Little office in the EEOB that issues official White House staff IDs, but this one I got directly from President Brooks. Total accident.
And Father, what are you doing? No. I won't let you throw your dream away. We leave only after you've told her the truth. Madam, are you all right? Yes. No. I'm gonna, I'll be fine. I hope the princess, when she is sad, she says, I have a good shoulder to cry on. <sighs> and I'm sure she wouldn't mind sharing. good. It's a valve that releases all the built-up pressure. <laughs> I'm a failure. No. I thought I could make a difference. And now I've let down two presidents. <laughs> I've truly sullied this position. Madam, I now know what sully means, and you are not capable of sullying anything. <laughs> But Taylor thinks I'm trying to run his personal life. But you are, aren't you? But that's beside the point. It's for his own good. And he doesn't see I'm, I'm just trying to help. This is very good to help the tears flow more freely. The best brandy in the world is from my king. Preston, this is the guest list for the state dinner. I want it exactly like this. If she makes any changes, I want to know immediately. I'm on it. Would you like me to monitor all her correspondence and communications with state? Just to be sure, you know. Good idea. I don't want to be blindsided again on any issue. King has very good taste. Indeed. Mm. <laughs> this is wonderful. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, it really is. Anna? <sighs> Come on. I promised Alex that I would help Taylor. <laughs> now the history books are going to say that I'm a failure. No worse, a phony. I love that song. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Something, of something about heaven. Uh, it was, uh, it was popular when I was in my teens. Did your king give you this too? Mm -hmm. oh. mm, he seems like a really nice man. I must meet him one day. A nice man. Mm. I do believe you're drunk. That is what Lady Astor said to Winston Churchill. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he said, yes. And madam, you are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but in the morning, I will be sober and you will still be ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but no, you are not ugly. But you do look familiar. Yes. Do I know you? 
Yes. Um, for some time now, I have uh, been meaning to show you this. Perhaps you'll recall the... Madam. Madam. I'm fine. I'm fine. And yes. Thanks, Max. Who is it? Very special coffee delivery. Oh, uh, just a minute. No. Oh. Oh. oh, just, just come in. Good morning. <laughs> what are you smiling about? I find it quite humorous that you have all these cameras around the White House, and everything will be a part of history. How are you going to explain this? I won't even be a footnote. Mm. Very well. Thank you, Max. Yeah. Okay. Just share that. Does that give her enough okay, time? Okay, great. I will. It will. She's fine. With she's about an hour, and they're very delicate with what they do. So, hey, wait, do you wanna? Shh, wait a second. May I speak to all of you, please? Sure. When I agreed to come back as first lady, I really thought I could make a difference here in the White House. But the truth is, I've I've just been playing a role this time. Just pretending to be something I'm not anymore. And after reading all the emails from our protest friends and seeing such a lack of historical knowledge, I realized that I could do more out there to impact what happens in here. I mean, what's the point of preserving history if no one even knows what it is? So I've decided to turn in my resignation to Taylor. No, you can't do that. Kid, we need you here. The country needs you here. No, the country has far greater needs than a first lady who's stuck in the past. I just never saw it before now. I guess everything and everyone need to do over. A chance to just be themselves. Okay, let's do this. Since yesterday, we've been coming up with some pretty cool chants. Oh, that's great, Hank. Okay, but first, I read through all your emails. I was so encouraged to receive so many, but disappointed more of you didn't participate. The first thing I want you to learn is to think and speak for yourselves. Every single one of you has a voice. Could you tell what we were trying to say by what we wrote? Let's hear those chants. Just keep it up until we tell you to stop or you won't get paid. And I don't want to see anybody talking to Kate or you're out. But she's just trying to help. 
We think if we, we're not paying you to think, we're paying you to do what we tell you to do. She's the enemy. How dumb can you people be? Then why is she helping over there? Just, just do what we're paying you to do and keep your mouth shut. What's she doing? Is she holding some kind of class? Wait. Pull, pull up on that. Is that Preston? We are getting a live feed from the White House where it seems as though Kate Morales is enticing the kids to revolution. Now, is she putting the president's life at danger by even associating with those protesters? Uh, well, anytime there's a potential threat to the president, mm -hmm. the Secret Service has to look at over all the circumstances and, you know, judge appropriately what action to take. Uh-huh, yeah. Well, clearly she's enticing them. <laughs> enticing? It's supposed to be inciting. Why can't she say inciting? That's a simple word. Um, oh, okay, okay. Uh, not bad. But uh, let's try it again. And this time in one cadence, okay? Everybody all together. Let's try this phrase. Learning leads to liberty. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Come on. So learning leads to liberty. All together, leads to liberty. Nor passion, learning leads to liberty. Pull up camera three. All right, now push in. Rewind that part. That is Preston. I thought he hated her. Why are they both out there? Wasn't the chocolate milk summit a big enough disaster for Taylor? Catherine Morales is clearly enticing that boisterous crowd by chanting, learning leads to liberty. <laughs> oh, what should the Secret Service do in a situation like this? Well, in this case, it is unprecedented that a first lady would engage a crowd that could potentially pose a threat to the president. Uh-huh. Well, does the fact that they're not married <laughs> and she really isn't a first lady put the president in more danger than usual? And you should be trouble. Just keep an eye on this before it gets out of control. Hmm. Silence says so much, doesn't it? Preston, what are you doing out there with those protesters? I mean, it's bad enough Kate's out there encouraging them. What's the deal? When Kate went out, I, I was concerned for her safety. So I was making sure she was okay. But you were outside the gate talking with them. She was inside. How does that help her? I was warning them to be polite. <laughs> oh, like you. Please deliver me. hear you on this side. Learning leads to liberty. You got it. Learning leads to liberty. Hey, the gate's open. I am so sorry. Are I will you be fine, madam. I'm very sorry. Max, where is Giselle? It's OK. It's Giselle. Oh, please. It, he's her bodyguard. It's Max. He's just trying to protect me. Please, may we see him? I'll let you know in a little bit. OK, you say he's only a bodyguard. Then why is the State Department here? I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to avoid an international incident. I don't know. I don't know. It seems as though Catherine Morales has caused an international incident. The bodyguard of one of the foreign interns has been taken into custody today for striking a Secret Service agent. This is a disaster for President Brooks. What in the world is going on around here? Did I just hear that there was a security breach at the White House gate and a guard was attacked? Oh, that's all you heard? Did you hear that Kate possibly incited the riot? It wasn't exactly a riot. What exactly was it then? I gotta find out what's going on. Hey, gentlemen, I would ask that you not share anything that we've discussed with Catherine. I've been trying to find a way to tell her, but I have not been able to. But I suppose now is the time for truth. Anybody not here? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, of course, sir, uh, whatever you wish. Yes, sir. 
Kate? What is going on? Hey, Max, sorry about them roughing you up like that. Yeah. You all have a job to do, and besides, we know you wouldn't hurt Kate. Yes. After all, we have access to all the security cameras. You mean that uh, this was sitting room outside the Oval Office? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> How do you say, busted? <laughs> Mallory is on TV saying that you're inciting riots. And what is Max doing in custody? Look, Taylor, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I, I just thought I could help the kids. They just seemed so lost when they came here, and I just was trying to give them purpose and direction. Kate, that's not your job. What is my job? You know, my job died with Alex, and I, all I really want to do is go back to teaching, and these kids finally reminded me of that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to sound like that. <sighs> oh, Max, are you all right? Did I, they arrest I, I, I'm, you? I'm fine. Sorry again, Max. Right, quite away, quite away. Yes, yes, I'm fine, madam. Uh, as you once told me, the Secret Service, they do a very good job around here. We see that Catherine Morales has been taken into custody today for enticing a riot. It will now be up to President Brooks to decide if he wants to keep her on as First Lady or fire her. She wasn't taken into custody, you idiot. And if anyone's inciting a riot, it's you. Peach can't hear you. Hey, look, they're letting protesters in the gates. That is not a good idea. They're clearly crazed and, and dangerous, and didn't Taylor go down there? I better make sure he's OK. Again, with him thinking he's Secret Service or something. I'm telling you, Kate had nothing to do with our cause. She wasn't really sure what it was anyway. I mean, to be honest, neither did we. We were paid to protest to make the president look weak. Who paid you? Some guy in a ball cap would come out and <laughs> give us debit cards. He looks like a lot like that dude over there by the door. That guy? Yeah. Come here. This is the guy you're talking about? Yeah. He works for President Brooks. Are you sure you want to try again? No, that's him. Except he always had the cap on. You mean this? Yeah, that's the one. And that's the dude. See if he has the debit cards on him. Preston. <laughs> You're fired. Take him away. Thank you so much for having the courage to tell us what really happened. If you'd like to discuss your issue, I want you to know my office is open. You uh, got it, Mr. President. But, but before you do, okay, I want you to have your thoughts in order, prioritize your agenda, and work on that verbal articulation, <laughs> Hank, so Madam, there's Madam, no ambiguity Madam, about what you want. He understands. Okay. Madam, for some time now, I've been, um, <clears throat> I've been trying to um, share something with you. Welcome Good to our country and our palace. And this must be Catherine. Your Majesty. My uh, son sends his regrets, but his valet, Tom Edwards, is delighted to be your escort today. You will be in very good hands. Thank you. Your Majesty, the royal photographer would like to get a photograph. But of course, please. Yes. Oh, it's really yeah. you. It is, indeed. But why Max? Who's, who's Max? Uh, uh, Tom, Max, Max, Tom. They're one and the same. A young teenage boy now trapped in an old man's <laughs> body who fell in love with you when you visit my country. Oh, 
almost 50 years ago. <sighs> oh, Tom, this is wonderful. I have thought about you so often through the years. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but um, why go to all this trouble now? Why didn't you just come as yourself? But I, I, well, I, I didn't know that if you had changed, if that spark was still there. I didn't, I didn't want to build up hope. And then I saw that you had come back to the White House and I, uh, well, I got a hold of uh, my friends at the State Department. Oh. Hmm? And the food, of course, is way better in your mind. Food. Do you know how long it's been since I've had a dinner for my friends, for people I actually like? I'm cooking dinner tonight. I can cook. Well, sort of. Are we invited? Well, of course you're invited. We're gonna use paper plates. No fancy stuff. Paper plates. I just want to have fun at a dinner. Hey, why don't you call Madison and the others to join us? What are you going to tell her the rest? She deserves to know. How do I confess my deception? She's going to hate me when I tell her. You have a good reason. She'll understand. Besides, that is not hate I see in her face. <sighs> Mrs. Morales, do you know morning has broken? We can't remember the words to it, and we think it was popular when you were young. Yes, uh, it was actually my favorite song as a teenager. You remember that song too, don't you, Max? Oh wow, I know that tune. Uh, you have a piano, right? Yes, do, do you living mind? room. All right, perfect. Let's go play. <sighs> a handwritten notes on her wedding invitation. How adorably retro. Mm. How very first lady. Mm. <laughs> Dear Catherine, it would mean so much to Taylor and me if you would attend our wedding. It would be our great honor if you would join us, Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> yep. She's perfect. Oh, oh, I left my rock necklace on the mantel next, dear. Would you mind getting it for me? Of course. Why, thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Morales. Our buddy, buddy, right? Yes. <laughs> Our buddy Hank wanted to say hi. He knew you'd be here too. Hi, Hank. Hi, Kate. I just wanted to let you know that I got a job. And if it wasn't for you, I'd still be on that sidewalk. That is wonderful. What's your job? Community organizer. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Kate. Good job, buddy. I am truly happy for you both. Love is hard to find. And to think I tried to break you up, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Kate. I know you just wanted the best for me. And the White House, and the country. <laughs> and the position of First Lady. Which is why we wanted to ask you back. Yes. I have a much better offer that I hope you will accept. But first, I must tell you the whole truth before I do. You see, I've only told you part of the story of how we first met. Please, Father, do I have to take this new girl around? I was planning on spending time with my friends. Besides, they're all the same. They all think because I am the prince that they should be my princess. I understand. Believe me, I do. But her father's head of the CIA and he's on a most important tour and he has asked she be escorted for safety. They have their own secret service and marines for that. 
It is not the same as having someone your own age who can show you safely around the city. Okay. But I want to be like Tom Canty and the Prince and the Pauper. I will do it if I can pretend to be someone who works here at the palace. Like my own valet. Huh? But you don't have a valet. Eh, they don't know that. They think all royalty has valet. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, don't you think she might recognize you? I mean, they do have TV in the States. No problem. I will change my hair. Or wear glasses like Clark Kent, or something. I'll figure it out. Please, let me be a regular teenager for once. I'd like to see what someone thinks of just me, not my title. Okay, but the Secret Service must be aware of what's happening. They must know that it's really you, for your safety and for hers. I wish that I'd thought of something like this when I was your age. Thank you, Father. Thank you. May I? But of course. Oh, Prince and the Pauper. <laughs> hmm. And she really is a princess and my exquisite <laughs> granddaughter. So, now that the position of First Lady has been fulfilled by this capable, wonderful young woman, I have a question that I've been meaning to ask you for years. And I do so hope that you will say yes. Will you be my queen? Please do say yes to us. <laughs> you have to do it. She does. She is a queen. Yes. <laughs> Morales and King Maximilian celebrated their one-year wedding anniversary today. They will be hosting President Taylor Brooks and First Lady Cameron Brooks as they discuss the resources agreement between our two countries.
such as friends. Oh. <laughs> yeah, totally blew that line. <laughs> Follow me, baby. I have no idea. I thought we were cut. I'm doing that and hugging her. It's just weird. Sniff <laughs> <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no,